Hello, grade 10 students. It's that time of year to start choosing your classes for next year at our school. So my name is Mrs. Elmer and I'm the career counselor here at Lacombe Campus High School and I'm hoping to help you walk you through this process to choose the correct classes that will match your goals and help you in your future. So there's two things I want you to think about before you choose your classes. First off, everyone needs to know what you need for the high school diploma and then to go into what career or what goals you might have after high school. So to check out the high school diploma thing, we're going to head on right over to our school handbook page. So off of our main page, like our school home site, at the bottom, student resources. And under registration, there is course handbook. You can probably search it on the bar too. It's linked to many different places. So this here is going to be where we go to look at our courses. But right now I want to look at that graduation requirement. So. Most students know that you have to have 100 credits, but of those 100 credits, you have to have your English and social at the 30 level. Math and science, you have to have only up to the grade 11 level. So that does mean for next year, most students are taking English, social, at least one science class and a math class. And then you need your calm. Calm at our school is held through our health and wellness program. So if you're in health and wellness 20, that's how you get calm. I'll talk about a couple other options there once we get to the sheet. So those are kind of your basic five, at least five courses there, and then the rest will be your option classes. So some students are going to choose two sciences or maybe three sciences. That's up to you, but just know that you need to have at least one. Besides that, you can do some option classes after that. Grade 11s are not allowed spares, so you do need to fill a full eight blocks of time in your schedule next year. So that, that's for our high school diploma route. So once you know your high school diploma route and you have the classes ready for that, I want you to make sure that you have your classes for whatever goal it is that you choose after high school. So a great resource for this is our Alice website. So uh, Alice, go to alice.com. And this is a really nice site because it is a Alberta based site. So I like the Alice occupation page because it really does list hundreds of different occupations. And at a glance, it tells you what the wage is and what the minimum education is. So at a glance, it's really nice, but you can also start clicking through and seeing what it is specifically. So I always find things on here that maybe I haven't thought of before. On the right hand, or sorry, left hand side, you could narrow the field. So maybe you just really like biology. You can narrow it to say, just have careers related to biology, whatever your interest might be. So as we look through here, um, uh, let's see, aerospace engineer, it says it's updated. Let's see what it gives. So four years post-secondary, all these are different tabs that break down more information for us. And it tells us here different programs that have, or different schools that have programs that lead you to this career, which is kind of nice. Now at a glance, it's looking nothing from Alberta. So we're going to go back and I just want to get to a career that actually has some Alberta schools on it. So uh, let's see here, animal health technologist. Okay, so that sounds kind of interesting to me. I want to see more about it. So I'm gonna go ahead and click it again. It says two years post secondary. So I can read about the job, see all the potential it is here and whether I go to the education requirement on that top or it's here again. And it's going to bring me to the post secondary programs. <clears throat> And here it lists all the different schools that have a program related to this. So it's divvied up depending on the specific name. So they're very close in names, but they've changed a little bit. Um, and then it, under that name, it tells you all the schools in Alberta that offer that. So I'm going to go ahead and, and click Old College for Animal Health Technology. Old is nice and close, has a good reputation for this types of, these types of courses. And here I'm going to scroll down and I want to know what I need. So to get into this program at Olds, I need a minimum of this year. So I need to make sure I'm taking chemistry, biology, math, and English. And those levels can be a little bit, um, there's some wiggle room there with what I take. I would always strive for the top. And if you need to drop down, but strive for the top at first, if you can. So that's awesome. So now I know for grade 11 that I need my biology and chemistry because I'm kind of interested in this, right? Um, it, does, it means that I don't need to take all three sciences though, right? So nothing needs all three sciences. 
Some people choose to take it because it still gives you some wiggle room and it lets you choose and postpone when you're making that decision. So if you're at all interested in engineering, that's a great reason to take your physics. But if you're not interested in engineering and you don't like math, well, you probably shouldn't be taking physics, right? So in order to take physics at our school, you do need to take math 20-1. Okay, you will not get into physics if you are taking math 20-2 at our school. So have, have a look through that ALICE site and start thinking about some directions that might interest you. So now that we've talked about both the high school diploma route, the what you want after high school, now I want to move on to our schedule. So grade 12s are the only ones allowed to spare, so you are not allowed to spare going into grade 11. And now I want you to look at, actually, let's go back to our school handbook a little bit. So this year's school handbook, this is where we list all of our courses. So quick, quick reference is a nice page to go to because it really does list every single course offered at our school. And as you click on them, it, it links to the actual course. Um, so maybe you're looking at, oh, what is science 20 versus biology 20? So there's a map here of the different sciences is descriptions as we scroll down science 20 versus biology 20 and it gives us some information there so you can quick you can look through maybe options are more exciting for you so you can look through some of the more of the option cl classes so cake decorating cake decorating if you did it in grade 10 you can do it again in grade 11 at the 25 level and it's full five credits this time right so kind of looking through and seeing what it is that you are interested in and hopefully building on something that you did this year that you really enjoyed, right? That would be the idea. So you're going to look through and see, making sure that you have enough courses to fill your eight blocks of time at our school, and then giving us a couple extras to think of um, in case you don't get into something. The last step of this process is then to fill out your course planning sheet. So on the left hand side, this should be what you're in this year. So this year, you either did English 10-1 or 10-2. Check it off and put your mark down. If you're in it right now, leave a blank. That's okay. Uh, then social, which one did you do? And your mark. If you did French immersion, science, and your math. Once you click on your mark in your PowerSchool account, it gives you a recommendation. Your teacher would have put in a recommendation for what you should take next year. I want you to record that in that middle. What were you recommended for? Once that's recorded, I want you to choose what do you actually want to take next year? What are you going to choose for next year? And that should be checked off here. And that is going to be what you are entering into the computer later this week. So things should be checked off in most of these boxes. Obviously, if you're, if you're not in French immersion, you can leave this one blank. And sciences, we've kind of touch, touched on this before, is that some students will just choose one science, some might choose three. But do what's right for you. And I would say most students, most academic students, would probably take two sciences, would be the av average at our school. Um, and then we have math. Okay, calm. I promised you to get back to this one. So calm is a graduation requirement. In consultation with a health and wellness teacher, Identify your plan for completing COM in grade 11. So most of you are going to check off Health and Wellness 20. We know our Health and Wellness is a great class. It gives lots of variety and different choices for your activity. Um, so that's going to be a great option for you to take. Some students are going to refuse that option, and that is okay. But when you're registered, you have to have met with Mrs. Yaramchuk before you actually enter these classes into the computer. So you have this week to send her an email or go talk to her, go go see if she's available in the office and say, and make a plan with Mrs. Yaramchuk, okay? So most people would be, just be doing the Health and Wellness 20. If you're really against that, for whatever reason, you have to talk to Mrs. Yaramchuk. If you have not talked to her on the day that we register, we're putting you in Health and Wellness 20 until you talk to her and then we'll make that switch, okay? So make sure you're kind of following that Piece. You need it for graduation and we don't want it to come up in grade 12. We need it done in grade 11. After that, we need some option classes. So we've left you five spots, but everyone's going to be different on how many option classes they get. And then we have alternatives. So you can list your three alternatives here. 
So everyone should have three alternatives. And then to determine how many option classes you have here depends on how many classes you have up top. Remember, we have eight blocks of time in our class. So if you do one English class, one social class, two science classes, one math class, that brings you up to five. Health and wellness 20 brings you up to six. For me on that scenario, I would have two option classes that are a full five credits. And then I would list three alternatives here. At that point, the sheet is complete. Make sure your full name is on it, first name and last name and take a picture of it. We need a hard copy of the sheet later in the week to actually put it into the computer. So if you forget it, or if you lose it, at least you have a photo of it, so it's, it will be faster to find out uh, what your courses were, what your recommendation was. At that point, I would love for you to take it home and get it signed, okay? We like parents to be aware of what courses you're registering for. And if you happen to be going against your recommendation, specifically science, I think would be the one that um, people might go against, I guess, just because there's so many recommendations within, it has to be signed by a parent before you register, okay? So once it's complete, take it home, get it signed and bring it back. Students are putting them into the computer Wednesday, Thursday or Friday, depending on your class. If you have any questions, you can let me know, Mrs. Zellmer or Mrs. Pack can help you um, or any of your teachers. So here's our information here. Send us an email if you have questions. We will be registering later this week. And I hope you're excited to start your grade 11 courses, right? It's pretty crazy how fast it goes and how early we start putting these requests in so that we can build a timetable and that takes a little bit of time for us. So thank you so much and good luck.